Take him out. Don't do it again. We are doing. We are doing. Please, we are doing. Don't worry. I know. Don't worry. 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 Don
They're not helping the country. He himself doesn't know what he's doing. The economy is gone. Now, the dollar to the Naira is, I think, 1,400. The cost of petrol, companies are folding up, unemployment is up. The country is in serious trouble. Something drastic must happen. That's never happened before. We never impeached the president before. I don't think. This will be the first time. Because this is the first time we're having the kind of disastrous administration in the history of Nigeria. Talking about allegations against people he has put in office. Look, you said he won the election. But look, <clears throat> I say I never gave him the election. He didn't win any election. 31% of the votes were cast and I never declared somebody winner. That election should have been redone totally. Nobody won that election. I never gave it to Tinubu, and now we are finding that the man in the seat does not deserve to be there, is not qualified, is not doing his job. The first pronouncement he made on the day he was inaugurated was to, 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 to take away fair subsidy. Everybody, Economics 101, you know that oil fuels the economy because it fuels transportation, it fuels industries. When you do that, and nobody told him to remove fuel subsidy by itself, you don't do things piecemeal like a child. He was supposed to confront the corruption in the oil industry, as well as then consider removing the fuel subsidy when you have tackled the corruption in the industry. But he just removed fuel subsidy. And we told him, if you don't, Sanusi, former Emir of Kanum, did a video recently, similar to what people like myself have said from the beginning. Go to NMPC. <clears throat> if 90% of our foreign revenue is generated from NMPC, and there's no money in the country, then go to NMPC, find out what's happening there. The president doesn't want to go there. Why? Look, if you don't do your job, you're going to be sacked. If you fail on your job, you got to be sacked. Now we give him, we give him up to a year. After one year, if things go on like this, he needs to go. I know he won't go peacefully. Now it's left to the National Assembly. The people who represent the masses of Nigerians to tell him, you're not able to do this job. And that's why I say senility. Maybe that's not the right word. But he's failing to do his job. He seems unable to do it. He seems he just wanted to be president for the sake of it. Now he's got it. Now he doesn't know what to do. And we're saying based on performance, based on performance, in terms of the critical things that keep a country going, the economy, security, now everybody's been kidnapped. Even on my way from mainland Yaba to here, I'm thinking, anything is possible in Nigeria now. <laughs> One may just be accosted and taken away. Nigeria, nobody is safe. The economy is in shambles. It is time for us to do what we've never done before, based on performance. Bola Metinubu needs to go. Thank you for staying connected to the very end of this video, my great and wonderful viewers. In I don't hear what this man talk. He talk and clear. He talk and say, Bola Metinubu needs to go. Clear. He clear him. Hope you guys have heard what this man has, what this man said in this video. He said a lot of things that can you even believe that? You know, as a president, a lot of things is going on in your country. Kidnapping is going on in your country. Killing is going on in your country. You know, people are being, people are suffering. People are hungry. You know, people are dying day by day. Currency is increasing. Dollar is increasing. This is that. Everything is just bad in the country. And all what you can do, all what you can do is to go on a private visit to France. You know, no, no, that's it. That statement is still what is provoking a lot of people in this country. That's why some group of Senate, some group of Senate have come together just to make sure that they impeach him before he come back to Nigeria. 
because that's the only thing they can do because any if he comes back to this country if you come back to this country and they were not unable to do anything he will make sure that he fight them to the very end i i, I'm, I'm, I trust bala metunubu he will fight it to the very end but the only thing that they can do is to make sure that they impeach him first before he enter this country back that's the only thing they can do and that is what they are doing that is what they are fighting on in this video you can you can see uh, it's the only man that i know that dama is 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 a, is a problem of nigeria is the senate president akpabio akpabio has been has been supporting bola ahmed Tunubu from the beginning he has been supporting bola ahmed Tunubu from the beginning and if akpabio can make sure that this is that that this worked ah believe me bola ahmed Tunubu will be will be will be removed before you know and it can it can happen it has happened before it has it has happened before if the supreme court is involved in it and everything is done before it came before you come back to this country believe me it will, it will be gone before you guys know my people people are suffering people are suffering a lot of people are suffering in this country a lot of people are suffering a lot of people are suffering People are dying in is what really really surprised me in fct in fct they should be kidnapping in fct have you ever heard it before they should be kidnapping fct abuja the my people always stay connected to like pot tv show if you have not clicked the subscribe button click the subscribe button the like button the bell beside it and also drop your comment in the comment section so that youtube will notify you anytime we drop another video into this channel about what is going on in nigeria what is going on in africa and especially what's going on in nigerian politics because i'm very very sure that between between this between the ending of this month a lot of changes will happen a lot of changes will happen if bala mezunubu is not removed there will be there, there will be crisis in this country there will be crisis in this country because a lot of people are hungry the anger is developing the anger is developing in in, in, in a, lot, a lot of youth people are suffering people are dying and this man is not doing anything about it insecurity is growing worse and worse and worse day by day and this man is not doing anything about it so people are getting gathering that anger to make sure that they fight him back and people don't forget share this video to all social media platforms so that everybody will know what is going on in this country in our country in our country in nigeria and people see my next video god bless you and God bless Nigeria. Don't forget, I always have faith that something good is still gonna come out of this country. No matter what is, no matter the bad things that is going on in this country, something good is still gonna come out. I believe, and I'm very, 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 very sure that something good is still gonna come out in this country. See you in my next video. God bless you, and God bless Nigeria. Bye. Thank you for staying connected and like what TV show. The message that we learn is going to help you. So all we do on this channel is to bring to you the keywords from the name of God in America and outside America. From the person of Jimmy Green and Chris Mars, to the business of Bullock and Flame and all of that. So we'll fill you with some value that we have to talk from them and also their prophetic world. And guess what? Many of these promises are really, really coming through. So just make sure you subscribe to this channel just to get more of the promises. Thank you, I think. Okay, so, see you next week.